Hi class, welcome to week four. So you see here in front of me, there's a room with some furniture in it. This is an architectural rendering that somebody has gone and placed new furniture in, very much like what we did last week. So you will work, um, at some point you'll be creating these rooms and you'll put different textures on the wall and then you need to add some furniture into them. So you're usually adding things in and not taking them out, but there's skills that you need to learn that um, that removing things is a good way to do that. So you look at this couch sitting here and you think, oh, I'll just pull that couch out, but there's nothing behind it. You need to create what's behind it. So before you dig into this project, you're gonna wanna really think about what you're gonna put in your room. I have some requirements. I'm gonna give you um, a wood pattern and I'm gonna give you a person and I'm gonna give you a chair that need to go in this room. But you're also gonna add some other things on your own. So perhaps you wanna add a rug. So instead of cleaning all this furniture out of the room and cleaning that rug, if you just go and put the new rug over it, you don't have to delete that couch and everything, okay? It'll become clearer as we proceed a little bit on this project. So to start, I'm going to zoom in and notice this wall is very grainy. That's a stylistic thing, but we're gonna to wanna to be careful and think about how we add images in because we don't want to, we wanna have a similar quality. So I'm going to use this tool called the clone stamp tool. And you wanna make sure you're not with the pattern stamp tool, it won't work properly. You want the clone stamp tool. The first thing I'm gonna do is select an area to sample from. So I'm gonna take this area and I paste it over here. So to select the area you're gonna work from, you hold down the option key. So I'm holding down the option key and notice where I'm putting my cursor. I'm putting it right, actually I'm gonna put it right here, where there's um, tile, lines in the tile. And I'm gonna click here. Um, so I just clicked while I'm holding down the option key. And so now I have my cloning tool. It's like a, I'm gonna paintbrush over top of this clock. So I'm aligning it right here so that I'm using what's already there as a guideline because if I just start sampling from anywhere, I'm gonna end up with the um, grout of this tile all over. So I'm aligning it here and then I'm just gonna click my mouse and I'm just gonna paint over this clock. And there, it's gone. Pretty simple, huh? Okay. So. Um, now I'm gonna zoom out again, and I'll show you this again. Say I wanna remove this guitar, okay? So another thing is the wall is actually getting darker gradually. You don't notice it right away. But let me um, sample from here for a second and bring it down here. So if I paint over here, see how light that is? It's a different color, okay, so I'm gonna do Command Z. So I'm gonna copy this guitar, so I wanna sample from an area as close to this guitar as I can get. So I am going to click here, and I'm gonna move over to the guitar, um, and the tile actually changes here, so you know what? I changed my mind, I'm gonna click here, and paste starting here just go straight down. So I'm going down so the light is changing on my drawing. Now see the way I'm repainting that guitar? Whatever was behind there before still shows up, okay? And now I'm gonna go up for a minute and hit the top of that guitar, but then I ended up putting some schmutz over here. So I'm gonna grab another sample spot, and I'm gonna go and just click and paint, paste over that. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to click from this sample spot and I'm gonna paste over the rest of that guitar. Okay, so you can see it starts to get a little bit um, challenging. And notice what's happened over here is I've got this repeat, you definitely see this repeat. So when I zoom out, it starts to make this weird sort of zigzag pattern on there. So when you end up repeating too many times something distinct on the wall, you get this pattern. 
So a good way to get rid of that is to just get a new sample spot. Let me grab a sample spot from right there. I just held down the option and clicked. And I'm going to go and click it right there. So it got rid of that repeat pattern. Um, another thing is my tool is very wide and it worked fine for that clock, but now I've got to get into the weeds here more. So I'm going to make the thickness of this smaller. So it's very much like you were adjusting the um, paintbrush, same tools and the same way to make something hard or soft. So I'm going to make this smaller. So when I come back in here, um, I can grab now it's darker over, pointing with this thing, you can see it's darker underneath that guitar, um, but that darkness is actually a shadow cast by that guitar. So a sample of this wall over here would actually probably be pretty accurate too. So if I grab this and move this over there, that works pretty well, okay? I'm going around this guy's head. Um, you may determine before you start working that you're not going to keep that person in there so you you won't need to be careful around that okay so I'm going to leave that for now and I am going to go into another image I am going to go to a wood pattern 